To the news brief, as part of effort to mitigate the negative impact of substance and drug abuse among teaming youth and women across the country, the Cardinal State Government has reiterated its commitment to cut down the supply chain and distribution of armed, armed food drugs that is detrimental to the livelihood of its citizens across 23 local government areas of the state. Against this uh, concern, Cardinal State Deputy Governor Dr. Adiza uh, Balarabe uh, stated this at uh, Sa Kashim Ibrahim House in Kaduna, says the availability of hard drugs has a triple effect on society, leading to out of school children. Because if we don't take out those who bring those drugs, we can never make a difference you know, on the demand side. We're trying for drug abuse uh, prevention and treatment, but we need to take out the availability, the supply side, so that they don't really go back to, to those areas. We have children abusing very various substances, and it breaks my heart you know, to see that kind of thing. So please, um, we can't do it all alone. Work with NDLEA, work with Kabusa, work with just any relevant uh, MBA or individual that is that has a passion, you know, for fighting uh, against drug abuse and. and also, the national president of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Dr. Zainab Kwari, says the fact of drug and substance abuse could. Uh, be detrimental to a person's mental state, health, and noted that one that is one of the major key areas that must must be focused, which is affecting family, children, and women, stressing the need for collaboration to tackle the menace in the society. We all have to play our roles. Uh, we, as medical women, we have expertise in addressing or even preventing some of these uh, issues. But we look up to other groups, uh, right from the family level at the community level, the various structures that we have, the various constituent groups that we have, will need to put heads together, including the government and other non-governmental associations, to see that we address this. Um, it's like a monster that we have in our society. So it has to be a collective effort to deal with it and to prevent our young ones and our people from falling into the uh, problem of uh, drug and substance. I think a lot of the problems that we have uh, have an underpinning drug challenge. Kaduna is among the high prevalence states for, and for me that is not something that I'm really happy about. You know that now drug abuse from what we used to know before traditionally where it happens in urban areas we now see people even in rural areas abusing. Hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.